the first thing we do is five man, five man straight to the rim. Now again, this is a simple thing, but at the end of the game, if a team is trying to prevent your one man from getting the ball, they're going to be up here and that guy is going to be open because they're going to be up here trying to, to switch this. And think about this. It's, it's, it's a little thing, but if you're going against a team that's messing with your point guard and trying to switch and face guard him, if they're putting so much effort here, this guy's one-on-one -on -one in the post. And don't give that up just because you want to get the point guard the ball. And that's why he's got to run to the rim and seal his man. And again, it's all about personnel. What is this guy for you? Is he a big guy? What's your name, baby? Rocky? Rocky. Why well, he's Rocky? We gotta post him up. Now, are you are you from Philly? Uh, no. We got a statue of you in Philly, my man. Listen, if if this guy's bigger than everybody, then you have him run to the rim and, and he tries to seal so we can throw it up. If he's a, a thicker guy based on who you play against and he wants to seal, you want to get somebody on his back. But the point is, if they're pressuring you out here, you gotta give this guy the ball. And he's got to get fouled. We're going to have you guys defend him, all right? If you get the ball into the game, so you got to get deep enough, you're either getting fouled or scoring, okay? But it can't be any soft shot in there, all right? Now, our four man, three man, you're going to just step to the ball, and this is going to happen. He's going to go first, and as he goes, you're stepping to the ball, and you're going to take an angle down towards this elbow and come and back screen his man right here. So you, that's your angle, okay? And you're gonna back screen his man. Now Rock, once you made that cut, five man, I would like to call you guys by your names, but I wanna make sure everybody knows the position here, okay? Five man, once you've made your cut and you don't get the ball, then you're gonna space out here, okay, just outside the block here, okay? Now you're gonna go to the rim, you're gonna go to the rim, and you, you're going to space outside the block. Maybe we call that the porch that area. There. We go to the rim. Now, end of the game situation. You you could run this during the, during the game, and they're not they're going to let they're not going to they're going to switch this. They're going to they're going to let you they're going to guard this. But end of the game, if they're trying to get this guy from getting the ball, that could be open. After that screen, you're going to quick and come screen for one, and then one. You're going to run at this. You're going to make a hard run at this, okay? And you're going to set your man up like you're coming off a shuffle cut here. You're going to get him here, get him on one side, and come hard, a hard run. And you keep coming to the ball as hard as you can. All right, stop. Good. Give our two men the ball back. All right, now, four. This guy is the most, the guy you put at the four spot is the guy you trust the most that will go get the ball, that will go get it. So after you screen four man, you're coming back hard to the ball right here, okay? You got it? All right, now, think about this. If it's end of the game and we want to get him the ball, if they switch this, any type of switch, okay, once you don't get it, you're going to the opposite corner. What we're doing is just spacing these guys out, taking them to the rim and giving these two guys the opportunity to get the ball. You're coming hard to the ball, all right? If they switch this and face guard you, you're coming all the way to the ball here, to the sideline, because this is what we want. If he face guards you right here, and we hit you, okay, you're going to back cut right there. And then we're going. We're not running any play. We're not running any play. Okay? If they let the one man get the ball, we take the ball. 